they barricaded one side off for some reason. Okay. And knocked through a wall. Actually, they bar... Yeah, not a good sign. No, not a good sign. Hello? Hi? Hello? Can you open the door? No? Well, we're gonna come, come around then, shall we? Yes, I'm sure that's going to be just fine and you're not going to have a problem with that. Right? Here they come! Get yes, get up! And... Do you have a friend? Yes, you do. He's not gonna help you, though. And... Boom! Anybody else? I see you! Oh, what are you making? What are you making? Sprat! I'm sure it tastes wonderful. Okay, was that... Everybody? Yeah, still getting a strangely creepy vibe. Okay. I mean, why can't I sort of interact with these terminals, for example? Hmm? What has happened to them? Have they been encrypted? Disabled somehow? Nice and quick. Well, you know. Had a bit of practice, and, and you are helping. You are definitely helping. Okay. Welcome, See Mostly. This is See Mostly's terminal. Right. Messages. GIMSI, Gorgon International Air Messaging System Interface. Gimsy. It's not the. Yeah. Thank you for using Gimsy, your employer sanctioned messaging system. Friendly reminder. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Two good fellow. Subject on the latest, from mostly, C. On the latest test results from human inquiry with some additional commentary, Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow. Fortuitously, I have... That's an interesting way to start a letter, isn't it? Fortuitously, I have had the opportunity to review the latest test results from human inquiry. I agree with your and the committee's general assessment that these test results are unacceptable. The latest experimental sample of Adrena Time demonstrates a 15 out of 17 possible side of sim possible symptoms in my rubric of dangerous, lethal, or otherwise high-risk side effects. I have sent a full report to your desk, the abstract of which is as follows. Adrena Time, in its current state, fails to meet this project's standards. By my calculations, Adrena Time users trade short-term improvements in productivity for long-term losses in productivity. Specifically, dead workers are unproductive workers. Right, I know! And also, workers who are permanently, you know, encumbered, not productive. When a calculation produces an unforeseen result, it is prudent to take a look at one's numbers. Incorrect numbers lead to flawed calculations. If the HIA's calculations are sound, then their numbers, that is to say the drugs provided by Chem Labs, must be flawed. Your esteemed colleague, Mr. Clarence Mosley. I have a feeling that is not going to be well received. From Mosley C to Goodfellow L. Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow, I have not yet received your correspondence regarding my previous letter. <laughs> I can only assume you are still, to deploy a parochial colloquialism, chewing over my commentary. No, you're in his spam filter. I have several additional insights which I've 
collated into an itemized list and sent to your secretary. Here is my summary. I believe the root of the problem lies in the chem lab. As I mentioned in my previous letter, incorrect numbers lead to flawed calculations. The problem must therefore be found in Dr. Jasper Law and his stewardship of the chem lab. Dr. L Lowe sorry, is a notoriously lackadaisical and careless manager, and pardon my language, a poor scientist. Of, of all the people uh, I've uh, read correspondence from, you are the least likely to need to apologize for your language. ChemLab must provide HIA with a safe, high-quality, carefully refined drug with which to conduct tests. This slapdash, artless, high-risk formula ChemLab has been delivering to HIA can only result in unacceptable test results. Okay, memo to self, use slapdash and artless in conversation from now on. I understand that safety and high quality development are often antithetical to the corporate strategy of Spacer's Choice, but in my life I have found that the perspective of an outsider can be helpful, awaiting your response. Mr. Clarence, mostly the very hopeful person. Okay. From Mostly C to Goodfellow L, encouraging words on the nature and practice of leadership with additional insights. You're going to give your boss words of encouragement on how to practice leadership. Oh yeah, this is going to go down really well. Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow, your response to my previous two letters are conspicuous by their absence. <laughs> Based on my analysis of your personality type, ooh, warning, dietary habits, Oh my god, clacks and alarms, patterns of speech and mode of dress. Oh, Mayday, we are going down. I must conclude with reasonable certainty that your silence stems from trepidation and anxiety. <laughs> Crash and burn. This guy's toast. Well, we kind of already knew that in a way because we're carrying a ray around one of his eyeballs, but if I might presume to offer some advice cultivated after years of living in Byzantium, may I suggest that your anxiety stems merely from ignorance? Oh, oh, you may suggest it, but might I suggest that that's probably not the best idea. Ignorance is the easiest of vices to rectify and requires only learning and heeding the advice of one's betters. Right. The success and failure of any project depends on the readiness of its constituent, constituent staff to perform their mandated duties. Scientists perform experiments, researchers research, managers manage. When one of these roles acts outside of, their, of its limitations, chaos is introduced into the system. In this particular case, quite literally, chaos, i.e. me, has been introduced into the system. Take heart. You need not fear the burden of management. The secret of good leadership is strong oversight, combined with careful, fastidious, numerically driven and scientifically supported management. The turbulence experienced by this project is emphatically not the fault of the OCI. However, it is the role and duty of the OCI to fix these problems. Ours is the only department capable of writing the ship of innovation in the waters of chaos. With paternal affection, Mr. Clarence, mostly. Paternal affection? Is he saying he sees himself as a father figure, or is he just like, you know, the actual, I don't know, father-in-law? Yeah, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess that guy was not on the Christmas card list for his boss. He was almost certainly on some list. Nice helmet. Oh, another terminal. Okay, I'm hearing a buzzing. Is that another message of some sort? Is that another message of... Nope, it's just a malfunctioning piece of electrical equipment. All right. Department of Strategic Branding. Okay. Welcome M. Kamura. 
messages from OCI Cerebral Committee subject unacceptable results. The OCI Cerebral Committee has hereby decided by unanimous vote that the recent test results from human inquiry and auditing are unacceptable, untenable and unsatisfactory. This message is an informal expression of our dissatisfaction which will be formally declared by memorandum in the near future. While the committee recognises the marketing potential of insomnia and chemical dependency, the remaining side effects described in HIA's latest report are incompatible with the OCI's vision of an Adrena Time product. Corporate auditors will expect to see a product that dramatically improves the long-term productivity of Spacer's choice workers by reducing the need for rest and mitigating the effects of long-term melancholia. The product delivered to HIA induces psychosis, violent behaviour, paranoia and alarmingly disobedience. I love the fact that disobedience is the really, really alarming uh, adjective in that list. A list that includes psychosis and violent behaviour. The OCI cannot accept a product that transforms long-term users into dissidents. The damage to our corporate image will inevitably benefit our rivals at Anticleo. Unanimously, OCI Cerebral Committee. OK, from Goodfellow, subject, relax. To my colleagues in the OCI Cerebral Committee, I share your concern but not your alarm. In times like these, I encourage you to recall a passage from our Spaces Choice user manual, the failures of subordinates must never become the failures of leadership. Scum, Chapter 21, Article 14? Yes. Um, the meaning is simplicity itself. HIA has failed to deliver acceptable results because they have failed to perform their professional obligations. My esteemed colleagues, you and I possess a number of law-given quali qualifications, but we have not been relegated to lab coat work. Let me reiterate, we are not test tube jockeys. We are leaders. HIA's purpose is to deliver test results. Our purpose is to deliver a quarterly report. I'd like you to reach out to Miriam Kumara at Strategic Branding, have her team clean up HIA's report, trim the fat and tuck in its guts. Make it look presentable for our auditors. Okay. And this is from Kumara M to the OCI Cerebral Committee, data presented ability and empirical hygiene. Cerebral Committee, my team and I have finished reviewing HIA's latest experiment report. We believe the failure of this report is manifest in its flagrant disregard for company-approved language. To that end, we've drafted a revised report edited with language consistent with the Spacer's Choice company vision. The HIA's original report mentions clear evidence of dangerous side effects associated with using the Adrena Time product, including, but not limited to, paranoia, violent confusion, chemical dependence, and dissident adjacent behavior. We propose the following connotative revisions. Dangerous side effects become exciting collateral benefits. Paranoia, dramatically heightened attention, violent confusion, physically assertive behavior, chemical dependence, metabolic compatibility, dissident adjacent behavior. Any mention of dissident behavior in this report may encourage dissidents. Recommend cutting this phrase entirely out of respect for our readers. Absolutely. So from now on, dangerous side effects are exciting collateral benefits and violent confusion is physically assertive behavior. Okay, then. We're not getting too much useful information from these letters. I mean, we're getting the fact that the, um, the drug they were creating was dangerous and uh, not very productive. But we kind of already gathered that. We are, however, getting a better look into the corporate structure. And more importantly, we're having a bit of a laugh, aren't we? I mean... I mean, it's terrible. We should definitely not laugh at this. This is awful, really. It really is. I mean, it's absolutely terrible. Chocolate yummies. Chocolate dose. That sounds nice. Is it real chocolate? Is Spacer's Choice chocolate? 
you know, reasonable chocolate. Was there another one over here? No. Okay, another terminal. Right. This is personal personalized security terminal. Welcome seat mostly. Status. Personal uh, turret status active. Hallway status secure. Dissident threat minimal. Hack 35. Reverse intruder definitions. Eh? What are the intruder definitions currently? If I start revert, before I start reversing them, should I not check that? I mean, surely they've set it up to fight marauders. Oh, maintenance room key. Beginning, I wish I'd brought cracked east. See, I don't know if if the turrets and security system are set up to kill. You get what you pay for with Space Destroyer's guards too. Us. I wonder if Marauders crossed them off. I sort of feel like we should find out who who we're going to kill if we reverse those things, because it it may be some holdouts that you know are not Marauders. Hello. That looks like a marauder. Does that look like a marauder to you? That looks like a marauder. I tell you what. I think we can assume that the all the actual staff here has been um murdered. And uh Intruder database successfully redefined. And hopefully now we won't get shot, but any turrets will shoot the the uh I have this horrible feeling I just did something really, really bad. Vending machine discovered. When we get back to the ship, I'm going to tinker every item I've got to the limits just to justify the amount of time I spend selling things to these damned machines. Hello? We're just here to investigate something, so there's absolutely no need for, um, physically assertive behavior. However, if you insist... Ooh, ooh, that really... Yep, that really did sound painful. That's the last of them. Okay, I shouldn't laugh. I should definitely not laugh. You shrink them and you make them go nuts. And I hit them with a big hammer. I realize, I realize that should not be as entertaining as it is. But I'm afraid I'm unable to fight it. <sighs> the same way as I'm unable to fight the urge to pick up ammo and drugs and, I mean, what is that? Dead Eye Assault Rifle 2. You know, I've never actually shot one of those. Um, that is actually a very good one. It's really a lot better than the um, the rifle I've been carrying. To be honest with you, though, I prefer the rifle's uh, scope. Maybe I will keep this. I just, just every now and again. Occasionally, I do get this strange urge to look at something far away, and that's more or less the main reason for carrying this. Oh, is it? It's the same site, isn't it? I think it is. Okay, never mind. But that's pretty much it. That is that is why I'm carrying that. Purple berry wine. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm just, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving this. I'm leaving it. I'm not carrying any more. No, 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 no. Ammo I'll take. I'll take the ammo. I will take the ammo. Because for some reason, I'm very good at carrying that without feeling the uh, effects of gravity. But everything else, I'm leaving. Because it's just, no. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. If you don't look at it, it's not there. That's how it works. Algae lager? Okay, never mind. Right. 
Department of Creative Inebriation. I like it. Instructions. Inebriation procedure and protocol. Okay then. Mandated by OCI Cerebral Committee. Really? We have procedures and protocols for getting drunk. Feeling lethargic after a long day of creative incubation, having trouble shooting down the bird of inspiration, let Spacer's Choice help you steady your aim. A selection of company-approved libations are available for purchase. Medicate your creative paralysis with Spacer's Choice Zero-G Brew. Appendum. All purchases will be deducted from your pay, of course. Spacer's Choice Zero-G Brew, official slogan to be decided. Personal personnel files. Ooh. Open last entry. Visitor logs. Campos Lavinia. Trouble deciding on a font for a new department letterhead ordered 10G Brew. Wyatt Lewis wrote 12 good words today but can't figure out what order they should be in. Ordered three. Zero G Brew. North Deacon. Brainstorming ideas for a new flavour of Saltuna, ordered 10G Brew. Campos, Lavinia, still having trouble deciding on a font, ordered 30G Brew. Well, you know, choosing a font's important. It, it, it really is. Hello? Huh? Hi! Anyone else? Nobody else that I can see. Oh, could we line up? Line up. Nice, thank you. Excellent. Two in one. Oh, not quite. Was there anybody else? Oh, combat drawing? And... The Marauder Colossus! Back of the head! Rad, let's go. Did you say rad? Did you say rad? If you said rad, I forbid you from saying it ever, ever again. Are we clear? Are we clear? I would point out, you are being asked that question by a man with a large, glowing hammer. So let me rephrase that. Be clear. Okay. Okay, now I want to get up there. Now I definitely, definitely, definitely. You hot smell something. Their mistake. Oh god! We didn't s <laughs> Never mind. Um Oh god. Is there any way to get up? No, there is almost certainly no way to get over there. Right, we got a terminal. We've got things that I probably shouldn't be picking up. And more things that I probably shouldn't be. Oh, story of my life, really, isn't it? Remolded power helmet. Okay, I think that's a, a more advanced version of the one I actually have back in the ship. This is pretty good armor. Enlarged heavy powered armor. It looks somewhat similar to the... It's better armor. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm... No, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm liking that. I'm, I'm liking that. I am. Ooh. I mean, it's not that I don't like the hood thing. There's something oddly, um, I don't know, brutal about it. But this just looks, it looks cleaner and nicer and, and more armor. I don't know though. The only the only downside is I kind of look exactly like the Marauders that are here. Whereas with this on, I don't. I look more like a Marauder from somewhere else. It sort of it distinguishes me. I ooh ooh. What do we? What are we? Just any preference? 
I mean, I'm going to have to wait until I add the mods to it anyway so I can carry more because, you know, it currently doesn't have the backpack mod on it, but definitely keeping it for later. Auditorium. Security notice. Notice, by order of Lawrence Goodfellow, auditorium projector room must remain sealed until further notice. Please answer any inquiries by visiting auditors with the following pre-approved message. Mr. Goodfellow is excited to inform you that our projector room is in undergoing upgrades in preparation for our grand quarterly report presentation. We thank you for your patience. Please return to the reception desk and request a complimentary bottle of Zero G Brew. Memos on auditing. Dear Sir and or Madam, if you are reading this memo, you are the designated concierge of this auditorium. Please commit the following message to your memory when guiding auditors along a tour of our office. What is an auditorium? Spacer's Choice Manual of Definitions describes an auditorium as a place where auditing takes place. Here you will enjoy all the familiar, low-cost, budget-friendly amenities that make Spacer's Choice the leading brand in affordable entertainment. Satisfy your posture in our semi-reclining chairs, enjoy a moderately cold bottle of Zero-G brew, and relax as you enjoy this special presentation of the Project Gorgon Quarterly Review, brought to you by the Office of Creative Incubation. No report this quarter. Everyone, I'm going to be blunt because I want you to understand the gravity of this situation. Someone, or several someones, sabotaged our quarterly reports. They're all gone, irretrievably damaged. The cerebral committee's putting their heads together to come up with a solution. We hope to have one before the auditors arrive. In the meantime, here's what I need you all to do. Do not, under any circumstances, talk about the sabotage to anyone outside our office. We need to soften the language. Studies show that repeated use of the word sabotage can incite sabotage in people who lack moral fibre. I'm not taking any chances. I need you all to come up with an alternate way of describing the sabotage. Something like the incident, but not so obvious. So this incident was just a bit of industrial sabotage. They deleted the quarterly reports? Okay. I mean, I appreciate that perhaps I'm, uh, I'm uh, not the right person to judge this, but that does not seem to be quite so terrible a tragedy as... I mean, to a corporate board, obviously, it's the ultimate tragedy, but... um, Right. Do you think that was Mother... Okay, Ari, no report this quarter. We've received all your suggestions. After much deliberation, this cerebral committee has unanimously voted to refer to the sabotage incident as the incident. The one they initially suggested. So ask for suggestions, then ignore them all, and take the one you yourself suggested. Yep, seems about right. Okay. Oh, I did not check up here yet, so... I definitely heard movement. Oh, it was you guys. Hey, can you imagine watching Terror on Monarch in this place? I don't know what Terror on Monarch is, but, um... Oh, you mean it's, it's a horror movie, and this place is creepy, so if you watched it in this place, it would feel even creepier. No, I get it, I get it. Okay, I'm hearing a bench. So... Okay, you know what? I just want to quickly check down here because I feel like... Aha! Uh -huh, there we have a bench. Maintenance room key. Okay, I think I know where we are. Uh, oh, out of curiosity, would the key be on this side? Because that would be... Very convenient. Impact hammer. Okay. And 
mind. Alright, let's continue onwards. I could sort out the mods for the armor, but right now I just want to keep going. So we will go back there. That's the noise. We have another message. Bread noodles, spelt B-R-E-D. All right. Where did it come from, Dr. Ambrose? <clears throat> they come from Tartarus, don't they? They do. Why the reluctance? Providing life-affirming employment to the indigent, the criminal, the criminally indigent? Well, that's a social good, don't you agree? I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. So they were performing experiments on people considered criminals. But we know that the definition of criminal is somewhat, um, well, mm, open for interpretation. I now, okay, what's the journal? That's the codex. Right, so, I'm thinking more science. I'm definitely thinking more science. I have a feeling we're going to need all the science before we're done here. And perks. I have to be 300%. Oh, that's so very tempting. So very tempting. But I... When you activate tactical time dilation, you continue to move at normal speed for a short time. This effect may only occur when your TTD meter is at full at time of activation. <sighs> I'm liking that. I really am. That's the one I think I want. That is, I mean, the next attack after killing an enemy is a critical hit. I don't, I mean, really, I'm not saying that's not a good one. What I'm saying is, that's a better one. There's also a mod for armor that speeds it up. And I'm thinking that might be the mod. That's one of the reasons I'm, I'm not going to put the mods on this yet. Is because some of the mods I've got, I'm thinking there is one that actually gives you a boost of movement when you first go into TTD. Okay. Well, it didn't shoot us, so that's good. I guess. Is it not coming back? And if it does, and we step into the room, will it shoot us? Or is, is that now disabled because we disabled it from the terminal? I'm going to guess... We should be f level head. We didn't get these people killed, did we? Did we get these people killed? I was sort of hoping that if we did chain... Get ready. No, it... Oh. No, it is. It's absolutely ignoring us. Okay, it is absolutely ignoring us. Um... I mean, I'm hoping this... I'm hoping these people were already dead. I'd sort of assumed everyone that wasn't a marauder was already dead. This is this this place was taken over a long time ago, so I was hoping that those turrets would just be shooting the marauders. Maybe maybe it was shooting. Oh, probably the marauders weren't coming in here anyway. It was just going to shoot anyone that wasn't corporate, and by reversing it, it's shooting no one. That is what I'm going to tell myself. Because that involves the least pressure on my conscience. And, um... That works. Hmm. 
I want to see what happens when they come out. Where is the... Guys, no, 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 come here, come, guys, guys, come here. I want, I want to see the thing. Come, come here. I want to see the thing. Do it, is it, is it? Processing a security patrol. No, it was. They'd reprogrammed it to shoot marauders. I feel better now. I feel a lot better now. Right. Okay. Excellent. Uh, excuse me. Hello. Hello. I'd feel better about this if you could turn round. Or at least stand up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just. But the best. Why do you sound out of breath? Really? Really? Why do you sound out? I thought for a second he was washing his hands. I, I thought he was washing his hands and I was going to say, well, actually, well done that man. Personal hygiene and, and everything. But he wasn't. He was... I have no idea what he was doing. Uh, okay. So this is just another bar. They do seem to have an awful lot of them, don't they? They've got... Well, they've got a lot of places for imbibing alcohol. As well as a lot of places that seem to have ammunition. You know, and everyone's dead. I, I mean, I'm not necessarily saying the two are related, that, you know, alcohol and ammunition may be a bad mix. I'm not trying to suggest that. But we might want to give it some consideration. I mean, I don't want to sound like a prude. I mean, you know, I'm all for people having a good time, partying, having some fun. We're probably going up. You know, I'm just saying. Fun should be responsibly performed. You know. Within reason, within acceptable boundaries, probably defined after some scientific study. You know. And I'm going to say, whilst I don't want to be judgmental, definitely, definitely what has gone on here is not within those boundaries, right? We've not been sensible here. In fact... Heads up, boss. Okay, apparently we didn't reprogram them. Could you... I'm overloaded. Again, so... Okay, is there a vending machine nearby? That looks like an office. That looks like an office. I have a feeling that might be what we're looking for. That's a vending machine. That's also what we're looking for. And we do have a stairway going further up. Is this heading out to the roof? It's sealed. We're not getting out that way. So by a process of elimination, we're heading through the office, or... through the boardroom. See, now that is an impressive looking screen. Perfecto. What is perfecto? What is perfecto? No ideas? Okay. Okay. Examine. OCI Cerebral Committee Minutes. The meeting began 
with a traditional recitation of the passage from the Spacer's Choice user manual, followed by regulation roll call. Every member of the Cerebral Committee was present. A motion to implement the revised guides on linguistic cleanliness and company-approved language was brought to the table. The motion passed unanimously. A motion to award Mariam Kumara and Lawrence Goodfellow with commendations on their permanent record was brought to the table. The motion was passed unanimously. A motion to file a demerit on the permanent records of Dr. Jasper Lowe and Dr. Marion Blakesley were brought to the table. The motion passed unanimously. A motion to redact any record of derelict employees, missing employees, employee desertion or incidents of workplace violence from official company documentation was brought to the table. The motion was passed unanimously. I thought it wasn't workplace violence. I thought it was workplace physically assertive behaviour or something. A motion to dismiss the meeting early was brought to the table by Loris Goodfellow in the spirit of conviviality and good humour. The motion was likewise passed unanimously. The Cerebral Committee adjourned for the zero G and cigarettes. Oh, it sounds like a good time was had by all. You know, except those getting the the strikes, the demerits. High society cigarettes. Okay, tell you what, we can we can come back and check for uh, loot in a back to basics. Back to basics. What is? Yep, definitely creepy. Definitely creepy. Shampoo bowl. What is back to basics? It's an outfit. Oh, I think it's just, uh, oh, it's, no, it's rather a fine outfit, actually. It is, in fact, rather a nice outfit, but. No one with an honest job has an office this nice. Yeah, you think this is the actual office? Investigating. They got the drop on us. Okay, hit them with science, because I'm... Oh, actually, oddly enough, probably moving faster. Mess with us. When I do that, because, of course, I've now got that um, little perk. Okay, S that's sealed. Okay, that was the office we came into. That was the office we came into. That office is sealed. Okay, let's just just check around and do a little bit of selling so I can move. So this is probably the secretary's office then. Where people would come in and then uh, be shown through if they had the correct appointment. Welcome H. Harrell, secretary to Mr. Goodfellow. Archives. Um, right, memo. Herbie, take a memo. Actually, hang on. Let me get a cigarette. All right, take a memo. I want to personally walk down to HIA and wrap my hands around the necks of every single law-forsaken excuse for a researcher whose indenturement contracts we were stupid enough to sign. Who signed those anyway? Were, were they drunk at the time? Why are we hire, hiring researchers who can't deliver the test results we want? Am I crazy? Is this an unreasonable expectation? Is supply and demand a foreign concept to these people? When I request a zero-G brew, I expect a moderately cold glass of something reasonably alcoholic in my hand, slapped with a Spacer's Choice brand. When I request test results, I expect to see scientifically proven, medically verified evidence that Adrena Time is a miracle drug. I didn't ask for a long list of dangerous side effects. I ask for adjectives. I can't turn high rate of violent confusion into marketing copy, Herbie. Really? I don't think you're very good at your job then. What in law's name am I supposed to do with the side effects include paranoia and suicide? HIA just screwed us with our pants on. The cerebral committee's losing their collective mind. Now I need to go pat them on, all on the shoulder and wipe away their sad little tears and tell them everything's going to be all right. Why are you still typing? Don't put that down. I was just rambling. Too late. Herbie, take a memo. 
I'm getting real sick of Clarence Mostly. Remind me again why we brought him on this project. He's not part of the Spacer's Choice family. He's never been part of the Spacer's Choice family. The Mostlys, what do they do again? Oh yeah, they peddle furniture. I'm a manager of Halcyon's most recognisable brand name in affordable goods and services. I don't need management advice from some guy whose family designed my footstools. Actuaries should stick to actuarial work. Don't go advising me to turn the screw on Jasper Lowe and those lab coats at Chem. I know what I'm doing. Hang on, I need a cigarette. All right, where was I? Okay, and the last memo needs hacking. For inaudible sake. All our quarterly reports, all of them, gone? Hard copies, terminal data, it's all gone. What kind of sick, degenerate mind destroys quarterly reports? We've got a surprise audit scheduled. What am I supposed to show the auditors? I need to send a message down to the receptionist. No auditors allowed. And I need to talk to the committee immediately. Why are you typing, Herbie? I didn't ask you to take a memo. Delete this. Hey, are you listening? Gotta feel sorry for this man's secretary. Flurry and a fedora red banded. Okay, I now have a fedora and a weapon called Flurry. Okay. Flurry is... Is that a heavy machine gun? I have a feeling that... Yep, that is a heavy machine gun. Makes the worst winter storm look like a light drizzle. The longer it rages, the faster this weapon will bury your foes. Oh, okay. We can now get rid of this light machine gun because... Wait. That thing's got a DPS of 2,000. Flurry has a DPS of 404. How? How is a level 26 special heavy machine gun doing a fraction of the damage of a level 30? I mean, I know it's a few levels higher, but that's, that's ridiculous. That is officially utterly ludicrous. What about the hat? Determination plus fat. Okay, it's not going with the outfit. It's 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 not going terribly with the. Uh... It's it's got something, hasn't it? It's got something. It definitely has something. Definitely. There is definitely something about it. Yes, there is. I think it goes with that. God, I need to get the mods on that. Better than that, actually. There is something intimidating about that. Probably the determination. But there is just some... A fancy fedora, fine and dandy even. It's fine and dandy. It's just not very much protection when you run in hitting things. I'm going to have to... Vortex Mace Ultra. Model Spaceship. Plasma Carbine. Somebody was a little paranoid. Okay. This, I believe, is the boss's desk. There's a door there. This is the boss's private lounge. Yes, this would seem to be the boss's private lounge. All right, okay. This is what we're here for. Okay. Admin functions. Unlock synthesis and manufacture center. I tell you what, before we do that, let's just find out if what we're about to do is a good idea. Messages. Incoming messages from Ambrose. Right, bring them all. To, right, this is from Ambrose O. This is from Mother. Bring them to me immediately and uh, don't let the journalists off the asteroid. Okay. 
Subject, Ari, 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 production schedule. You think you can hide from me, you little twerp? I know a serum that will make you feel as if you lived a thousand years in just eight hours. How would you like to spend a night in waste processing? Cheers, Ollie. Yeah, she definitely, uh, definitely not quite um, a sort of friendly people person. Toxic free rebranding. Change the name, Lawrence. I don't care if the inbred simpletons at headquarters were just having a laugh. Customers don't know what it means. You may choose from this list of acceptable alternatives. Absorbitol. Kelam... Chelam... Chelatamax? Bindatron? Bindatron? Emeticin? Okay. Cheers. Ollie. Return to messages. Okay. Outgoing messages are to Ambrosia O. If you're receiving this message, I'm currently unavailable. In my absence, I have instructed my secretary, Herbert Harrell, to replay any incoming messages with this pre-approved response. Vicariously, Lawrence. Vicariously, Lawrence. Really? Okay. Dr. Ambrose, great timing. I was just sending Herbie over to your department with a preliminary production schedule. As with so much of the work we do at the OCI, the design of a production schedule is more of an art than a science. The timetables and milestones are less contractual obligation and more aspirational cartography. It's more of a wish list. We'd like to be done on time, if possible. Radio documentary participation. Okay. Approved. Next time, allow me to make this kind of announcement myself, Mr. Mostly. Hierarchy exists for a reason. Okay. Mr. Lawrence Goodfellow, many of you may be familiar with Odeon Pictures, Byzantium's premier purveyor of etherwave drama and drama-adjacent entertainment. Several of my personal associates at Odeon Pictures have launched a satellite studio called Pictureless Pictures which emphasizes radio programs and serials intended to excite the senses and palpitate the glands. I have received the request to approve a radio documentary program examining the lives and contributions of Space's Space Choice Scientist operating old Gorgon. The name of this documentary is Moments with Genius. I do not approve of the superfluous exclamation point, but I approve of the general idea. Please inform the other managers lawfully, Mr. Clarence mostly. Okay then. Unlock elevator. Oh, that's the sealed elevator. Right. Good. Excellent. And now, let's unlock synthesis and manufactory. Manufactory center. Okay. Synthesis and manufact. Where it? Synthesis and manufactory center status is. Executive lockdown must be overridden at ChemLab. Human inquiry and auditing. Got it, got it. Override synthesis and manufactory center, center lockdown. We're overriding it. We're overriding it. We've overrided, override, ridden it. We've overridden it. Please visit Transmission Tower Alpha for staff directory. Staff directory protocol activated. We've got to go to the Transmission Tower Alpha for staff directory. Isn't that the place? Didn't we visit that? Didn't we visit that? And there was a creepy weird fellow talking to- I knew I heard a little weasel sniffing about. You best go back the way you came. There's nothing for you here. <gasps> if you're a, yeah, if you're about to issue me a dire warning, you can eat- No, don't. No, 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 don't. I want to hear the dire warning. Um. Who the hell are you, sir? Call me the Ghost of Gorgon. Or its warden. The Ghost? This of place is a graveyard. Gorgon. All that was done here should be forgotten and left to rot. You're hiding something, and I intend to find it. Out. Did you just lock me out of the SMC? Unless it's good salvage. Uh, when it, yeah, that's the best argument you've got. Don't. No, 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 definitely not dramatic enough. You're hiding something, and I intend to find out what. Gorgon is the birthplace of marauders. We created them here, in this very facility. They are our misbegotten children, born of hubris and vanity. I don't understand. 
They made marauders here? How? The drugs. But marauders are just mindless lunatics, right? There can't be more to it than that. Yes. They hold no fondness for trespassers. I've placed the facility under emergency lockdown to keep them safe. Let the marauders die in peace, or I will make certain that you die with them. Looks like there's more to this job than I thought, would it? What do you mean? How do you create marauders? We were hired to find a journal. Marauders aren't our problem. No, no, no. Looks like there's more to this job than I thought. Spacer's Choice made the marauders? All of them? Somehow that sounds even more insane out loud. No, it doesn't. Marauders have caused almost as much death and destruction as factory accidents. If whoever that was is right, this place is hiding something big. Right. Whatever secrets are buried here, we will root them out. And can we stop pretending like we don't know that's mother? I mean, it was so obvious with the hat and the voice changer. That was the woman we were, we were like looking for her journal. It's her journal. We all know it. Oh. No, was I supposed to pretend that I didn't know that so we could have a dramatic reveal? Okay, I I'm sorry, my bad. 